But so like, so how long, I'm sorry, how long has uh, True to Life been around? I think we're closing in on our, our, our uh, year now. We've been operating right for about okay. a year now. The drink, the drink, the drink, we're clicking to the environment. We're clicking to the environment. We're clicking to the environment. So we're kind of sort of still, you know, new, but we know, but we know what we're doing here. CB, we are experienced smokers. Well, that's all. Like, you guys are still like kind of brand new. We're still kind of brand new, but you're talking to someone who's experienced smoker. I've dealing with. I've been. Oh I'm no, sure, no, like, yeah. no, we, like, we, High school, like yeah, without a doubt. You can't yeah. deny the fact that you go into high school. Like, there was drugs. Everybody, everywhere. Yeah, oh there's yeah, everywhere. Dude. There's everywhere. There's trucks. They can't oh. keep drugs out of the prisons. Sure. Out of the jails. Oh, yeah, it's no, there. I've had people say that there's you know more in there than they can get out. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, oh, God, so. Uh, but I that was 13, I was uh, 13 years old, smoking marijuana. You know what I mean? I was walking to school. The guys were like there. They ran. They, they ran off in the woods because they thought it was, someone was coming. Yeah, yeah. They're like, oh, it's just Josh. It's just Blanco. He's just, it's just him. <laughs> so, so, he, so like, oh yeah, what's up? What are you guys doing? Like, no, oh, no, man. You ever smoked weed before? I'm like, in my head, I'm like, no. Like, like, yeah. 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 I smoked it. I smoked it before. Like, yeah, yeah. So, so you know how to work this thing? I'm like, I'm looking at this bowl. I'm like. I was excited to smoke this shit. So like, I was trying to figure it out, and they're like, "Josh, come on!" You said, "Say a little for me." I hit that shit, dude. I was lit the whole fucking day. You know what? I was on a whole other plane of existence, dude, that's, man. Dude. I'm like, whoa, man. I'm like figuring things the out that I couldn't figure out like last year. Like, oh my god, that's how I can do it. The first time you know how people saying like, you know how people saying like, oh, you I'm playing like, Killer Instinct on, N uh, on N64. And I'm kicking ass, bro. I'm on the phone with my cousin. Yeah, yeah, you know, this is my baby's girl now. Like, I'm kicking ass. Like, I'm so functional. Like, Dude, I, I it's, found it. It's weird that you said that because it's like. You can remember the first time you got high. So oh, I, you know what's good? You know how people say, like, no joke, they're like, oh, people say oh, they don't get high the first time. time. Yeah. And I'm like, yo, listen, oh, I'm like, I used to say that, and I thought that that made me, but now I remember just, and it was just a different experience. You almost didn't recognize, you almost didn't understand. That's why you think that you didn't get high, you didn't understand it. It was yeah. just like a different world for you. I remember laying on the back of my father's car, it was a white Dodge Daytona, uh, Shelby Z. You ever hear about that car? Yeah, 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 white yeah, one, yeah. the hatchback, nice. I remember just laying on the back and just staring into the sky, and then I, I, I I can't even remember what I was thinking, but it was just like, it was like a whole new world for me. Like, I felt like, you know what I mean? Like, I was an adult and like, you know what I mean? Like, just a whole new, and it, it's because my sister's friends, you know, four years older than me, they love taking a little kid, you know what I mean? Little brother taking him, getting right and messing with him, you know what I mean? So, and I loved it too, you know what I mean? I was hanging with these big kids, you know what I mean? But, yeah, I remember the first time, man, and never, it was crazy, right? Yeah, yeah, dude, the first time I ever got high was uh, for senior prom, we, we, it was like a last minute thing too. Me and my dad. Oh, you're a late bloomer. Yeah. <laughs> I was gonna say. I was too busy. It's so funny. Yeah. Dude, I was, 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 was like so freaking. I was so. I was considered a pop. Missy was. Without a doubt. No, so, like. I was in love. But, yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> well, with me, I was so involved with sports that I did not have any time to play around with all that stuff. Right. And so. I did sports too. You know, a lot of people didn't know. They, well, I was they just didn't not know, into it. But I'm just I saying, just no, no, it, and it, it did, it did clog a little bit when you're in sports. Of course, you know, your focus when you're, especially in sports, you know, you got to be really Dude, focused. Yeah. So like, I was like, I, I am you know, CBD, CBD when, when you want to play players. CBD, you, CBD, you, you use CBD for, for sports. Absolutely. Afterwards, for relaxation, use THC. Exactly. In moderation. My professional opinion as a true life cannabis chef. Take the knowledge and understand the knowledge. Use it correctly. Use it in moderation, and it can benefit you. Now, but that doesn't. Change the fact that it can be harmful. You abuse this, it can be pretty harmful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you abuse it, you just lay around, smoke weed all day, and do nothing with your life. Yeah, sure, but that's your choice. That's kind of like you know it becomes personal choice. Exactly, it's, it's your personal choice. It's an issue of willpower at that point. And I hate yeah. when exactly, and I hate when people are like, "Oh, well, you'll never be nothing." And it's like, no, I know millions and tons of. Well, I don't know, but you, there is people super successful that that use marijuana every day or CBD every day. And this is where the, so, the lack of education comes in. Exactly. You know what I mean? Because like for the people who are just sitting home smoking pot, laying on the, on the couch every day. They're smoking strains that are randomly getting from the, on the street. They they're really not getting into the particular strain. That they, they need. When you find yes. out that strain, when you find out the strain that really benefits you, you, oh, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you, like, we should be able to grow that motherfucker, bro. Like, I'm, that I, should I, be the shit here. Yeah. Yeah. This yes. is for the morning. This is Josh's fucking. This is this this, this is for the midday. <laughs> yep. This is for when this I gotta go Josh. to sleep. This is for Josh's. This is when I, when I have diarrhea. <laughs> this is for when I when I have a hangover. Listen. 
they're saying that yeah. they're, they're able to distinguish that now with, with, with DNA, like also your blood type. The genetics, you know, and yes, genetics, the genetics yeah. of it, and also the genetics of a human being. Like if this person has blood type, whatever, these certain strands will benefit them more. You know what I mean? Then you can go even further into it. The terpenes. Oh, it gets deep. That's, that's another chemical oh, it gets deep. Uh, process, a, a, a molecule. Yeah, totally terpenes. Oh, okay, so terpenes is a compound that's found naturally in, in all plants that have an aroma, like citrus plants, or, yeah, like, sure. or like rosemary, or pine. They have that, that aroma to it. You go up to a pine tree, you, they oh, have that yeah, pine yeah. smell. You're like, oh, pine like, hey, you remember that pine salt commercials? <laughs> pine that's salt, remedy, fresh, bullshit, whatever. So like, so <laughs> that's, that's all terpenes that they're working with. Terpenes, yeah, so, so, so terpenes have different effects. Uh, there's uh, the citrus terpenes that I, I'm not exactly sure the specifics on that, but they have a particular effect on the human body. They also have a particular effect as far as like pesticides go, because like you can put like lavender and vinegar, and then you can spray that, and that can become like a like like, like a, a solvent, a solvent, oh, sure. or, or or a bug repellent of sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like, you no, know, these terpenes have different you know uh, characteristics that they that they play. You know. So terpene is just like a. Like just another reference. Like, yeah, it's like it's it's it's, it's, well, it, yeah, it's like deep. A, like I I I it's, like I, I it's, it's, it's a molecule. Yes, it's, it's a, a molecule, molecule that has like that the fragrance, the, the, the flavor, fragrance. the the you know what I mean. Like it, like when you when, when you, you know about live resin and the waxes stuff, and stuff like, like that. that. Yeah, like, yeah, like, like the resins that you would extract from like uh, from rosemary and stuff. Like those, right, those are right. terpenes you're extracting from that to make to have that aroma, that smell. You know, it gives a rosemary that smell. It gives a citrus that smell. Those are terpenes. Yeah, I can't stop talking about the live resin and all that in America. He won't understand, you know. I think you understand. Of but the, there's so many, waxes but, but right there's now. so many strains out there that have a different characteristic profile of terpenes that have different effects. So when you smoke it, or, or when you consume it in a certain way, when you heat it to a certain temperature, these yes. there's different effects. So there's CBD, CBN, CBCBG. There's different levels are activated at a certain temperature. These become activated. Mm -hmm. you know I mean, I, I'm not a scientist, and I'm not sure. But this is the process that happens with it, though. Yeah. Maybe because I because I was told to, to watch out with the CBG because there's people out there going out there marketing CBG. Uh, so we're like, what the hell is I, that? I can see where like, they're getting What the hell is CBG? Confused, like, but yeah. Which is like, uh, if I'm if I'm correct, CBG is the is the is the point before it becomes CBD. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say before. You know about this, like, CBG, there's It's a marketing there's, thing, it's a marketing thing. Yeah, there's a so, lot of different yeah. no compounds of it, and there's a lot of, like you said, and that's And that's why another problem is. with CBD now, is that people don't realize that all these marketing things, when you see CBD, when it says, for joint pain, for uh, sleep disorder, for, uh, 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 for headaches, when you start seeing that, stay away from that brand. Because CBD is not something that's, that, that's targeting specific yeah, stuff. Like, that's more on the THC level. Right? No, 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 no. Uh, even THC, it has it has its benefits. CBD has its benefits. But when you start separating what it can do for you, that's marketing scheme. Because CBD can do all of that. You're putting lavender in it. You're putting uh, 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 whatever uh, 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 essential oils in there to target something. Well, you don't need to do that. You don't need to do that. Yeah, but I thought, I thought, you can actually, do it on your own. Yeah, I, thought, I thought the actual strand of different strands of marijuana, though, can target specific things like marijuana. I mean, like migraines. So, or, so, 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 you guys know our, our strain that we use is Cherry RX. It's a sativa, and it gives us the 0.3 percent that keeps us in regulation. So now you guys only use that strain. Yes, that's we find that that gives us exactly the quality that you want. It gives, it gives us the flavor profile that we want, it gives us the, just the terpene structure, spectrum that we want. And if you want, if you want to try, try the honey. Yeah, yeah. It up. Try it up. Try it up. It's local raw honey. Uh, we have a relationship with a local bee farmer. He's got 200 farms oh, yeah. all around the state of New Jersey. Uh, you just spoon. Yeah, it's yours. <laughs> Go ahead, man. Have at it. Yeah, no, I actually, uh, I, I, oh, wait, uh, I, I try to put honey in my coffee every morning um, because it, uh, it helps with your lungs. It helps with your oh, respiratory. Yeah, like, you know, honey is especially a raw, yeah, yeah. especially a raw natural honey. Um, you stir it around. Can I taste? I'm gonna take a little taste. It's, a, it's almost like a, like, a, like a gel in a way. It's raw, creamy honey, so it's 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 as less it processed as possible. Though. It just had like a little bit. Like a little you're, what you're tasting little is bit. what you're tasting is 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 is, is the work that the bees have done. The bees Good. have done the work. You know what I mean? We're just putting CBD in. It. We're just we're just asking we're just asking the bee farmer, hey, can you take some of that that good delicious honey that your bees have made in New Jersey? Can we put some CBD All in All natural. It? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I love it. I love it. You're not a GMO. Do you have another one of these? Uh, 
No, I don't. <laughs> no, not because I want it. <laughs> Dude, we, can talk, we can talk about this. Right, yeah, I was say, well, I'll hook you well, up. Right. No, without a doubt. No, I, like I said, I, I like to use honey every day, and, and if that's got CBD in it, that's that's. Yeah, man, you got, you got to get the card, right? You got the card? No. Oh, yes, 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 yes. I got more on my ass. I do have it. <laughs> <laughs> I might take another one. I'll take another one because I'll lose it. There it is. You heard the sound? It's tight down there. <laughs> Still fresh. Yeah, that's good. I'm still innocent. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not really innocent. Oh, jeez. Oh, yeah. All right. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Nah. <laughs> let, me, let me take a sweater off real quick. Yeah, go yeah, for it. Oh, yeah. Kill that. Kill that. Dude, that look how I just made my freaking. Oh, I like this shirt. Got CBD. Nice. Nice. He's all on camera. He's got all the camera. Right, right, right. Something that is making me high and stupid, you know. It gets you going. It keeps, it, it, exactly, it exactly. It balances. Now, don't get me wrong. Listen, at night, sometimes I like to take the wax hits, the big hits. You know what I'm saying? And, and that, that is almost like my glass of whiskey at night or something. You know what I mean? That's what it is to me. Cause I'm not a drinker. You know, but if I want to kick back at night and I have nothing left to do, I like to take a big hit of something or maybe a joint. Yeah, you do. You know, and you, <laughs> he goes, yeah, you do. <laughs> <laughs> so, well, for now on, when I hear someone talking about CBG when they're talking about CBD, I'm going to be like, bro, yeah. I know what I'm talking about, that's not it, oh, CBD. bullshit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're talking about bullshit, right? No. Um, but, um, anyway, I wanted to actually ask you, um, are we back on? Yeah, we've like, oh, been, been on, bro. <laughs> we've always been on, bro. We've always been on. I don't know how this so, stuff works. Like, I never find out empty over here, Captain. Oh, bro. Wow, <laughs> what are these guys? Whoa. <laughs> slacking over here, bro. Come on, now. You know what, Teddy? Maybe I'll take one of them teeth. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I mean, one it's of them. like that at all. Corona. <laughs> you want a Corona? <laughs> Time from the distance. Corona. 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 <sighs> I almost want to go grab my pen. What happened? I said I almost want to go grab my pen. <laughs> oh man. Corona premiere. Yes, sir. What's that all about? <laughs> That's the premiere, the right? premiere. Oh, no. <laughs> Let's talk about this. 2.6 grams of carbs. <laughs> oh, low. It's sexy. <laughs> Where is all the fat gone? Come on, man. You gotta have a little chunk on it. I like a little chunk on it. <laughs> I think it just molested my beer. <laughs> it is actually. I'm not done. I'm not done. I'm not done. I just stopped. Because I care about my reputation. True. <laughs> nah, that's cool. Yeah, that's good. Thank you, sir. Oh, wait, we're rolling still. There we are. <laughs> just you knew. But uh, so like, we we kind of we already pretty much went over how this, you know, true to life is. So I'm just gonna ask the blatant question of, how is it sustainable to our society? What's that, a CBD? Yeah, CBD, THC. CBD, you know, THC. All, all that kind well, of thing. being the fact that they come from the cannabis plant and both of them have their varieties, you know, THC is uh, more marijuana and CBD would be more hemp. Both of them have, I mean, because of the fact that they are plants, it helps Number one, the environment. It helps soil keep coming together. Their roots actually work symbiotically with the organisms that grow locally there. So like funguses, bacteria, uh, the worms, all that. And once you establish all that community within nature, 
you're gonna have a sustainable little environment there. You're gonna have good, healthy soil growing. You know what I mean? That's 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 one aspect of it. But then again, like the, the roots of cannabis also have use. So not only is the flower and the leaves, and, base, yeah. and, and 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 the and you know the stalk can be used to make rope, paper, such and such. We were discussing that before. The roots also itself apparently have uh, medicinal value. Back in Chinese medicine, you can check this out. Uh, ancient Chinese medicine, they were using it medicinally for <laughs> as a diuretic. Or it's a what? Diuretic. It's like a, it helps you uh, uh, detoxify. Right, you say, right? you know, cleanse your Cleanse right. you, right, right, exactly. Like cranberry, you can think like cranberry juice. I forget where I've seen it. I've seen a couple bottles from the 1800s that said cannabis oils or whatever for, for detoxations yeah. or, and these were from the 1800s. They would grind it into a paste and use it for burns. That too, yeah. Stuff like that, the roots. So, you know, it's, it's very sustainable. It's, it's a very highly valuable. And I didn't know, I, I like how it also, like you said, it also helps with the soil and the earth and it also that know, right. helps. Because well, you, you know what I mean. Neutralize the earth. You know, for example, like uh, uh, there's every which uh, way you go, like right? a gas station, for example, that's been put out of commission mm -hmm. because it's contaminated the, the area. They had to shut it down. Right. What do you do with that gas station now? Like, what are you gonna do with it? You can probably plant cannabis there, and 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 and, and it can create a symbiotic relationship with the, with the soil, and you can probably heal I that. Almost clean that soil for you. With that stuff, because it will allow funguses to grow, allow bacteria to grow, to break down all that and stuff. They know, that's, that's they know this too. You funguses know? can break down like all those uh, unnatural stuff because they yeah, use, they look at it in a different way. They they're decomposers. They're they're the uh, engineers of soil. Like Paul, Paul Stamets. What's up, Paul, Paul Stamets? <laughs> Paul Stamets. <laughs> He, he did You're an experiment. This, he, was, he was doing an experiment where uh, they, they did three piles of burns, and they were all contaminated with uh, 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 petroleum uh, products and stuff, like okay. oil and shit. Mm -hmm. One was uh, uh, taken care of, just left alone. There was another one that was, uh, I forget what they applied to it, uh, maybe bacteria. And then they had one, another one where Paul Stamets inoculated with, with, with mushrooms, okay? In a couple weeks, you can see like there was some growth happening. Their mushrooms were coming out. Like after a couple weeks, these mushrooms died back, and you saw insects coming in there, right? And then birds are coming to eat the insects on his pile. All these other piles, and nothing happened. Nothing happened. His pile, though, you can see life starting to happen. Really? Life starting to come up because the birds that would come to eat the ants and the well, insects, yeah, they, 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 they were, were dropping seeds. They drop yeah. seeds because they would go eat seeds. They're dropping mm. seeds now because they're coming there. Almost like a natural cleansing. It was just, that, yeah. It was that's the, insane, bro. So you would see that this, this grass and plants started growing on this burn, and it just became an oasis. Well, that that's like uh, did you ever see that? Check it out. It's uh, it's six ways that mushrooms can save the world. All mm -hmm. It's a very very wow, good that's video. Cool. Yeah, check it out. Let's call it. Um, I I'm not sure if you guys saw it. It was a uh, it was like a Facebook video of. The, I guess, a, a, I don't know who the de developer was, like a real estate developer, they cleared like, I'm gonna say like 10 acres of land, mm. right? Was a large, 10 acres of land, and all of a sudden like, they didn't do anything with it for like months. Finally this one, I wanna say this one farming market just came in with like orange peels, like uh, compost. Yeah. And it was yeah. like tons and tons of orange peels. Like a whole entire, like, you know, like the trucks that go around and get in your To revitalize that. Yeah. 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 They, they dumped like hundreds of tons of just orange peels within a month. Vegetation blew you know, up. And it's vegetation blew up. And it was crazy because they did like a whole time lapse of it and everything. That's was, inspiring. Like, that inspires me. Right? Yeah. And that, dude, there's. I, I've been lately going to the, the planning board for the town. Yeah. The, the town planning board, you know, zones and build it. Good for you, man. That's that's a, someone has to do that. Right? Then that's, that's, yeah. that's, I'm big on that, dude. Because, like, everyone was like, oh, the government doing this. Like, we need more motherfuckers like you going out there. Like, I'm well, getting no, shit done on my own. No, man. like, like <laughs> honestly, like, I, and I'm not trying to, like, you know, you know, I am. No, you actually about care. Myself, you're going through the motions yeah, to no, get the work done. No, but I'm not only caring, but I'm doing something about it. Yeah. Like, I did my research on like, okay, I have to, and, and I even had my my friend help me because I was like, I was like, you know, Heather, like, please help me. Like, I even asked some of my other friends. I was like, yo, I don't know exactly how to go about this, so can you help me? Like, put me in the right direction. <laughs> but like, like, another thing is like. I drive all over Tom's River all the time, and there was a couple lots, even when you come to my house, like the one lot uh, right next to the AC Hess, there's a huge lot yeah. that like when you're going down 9 north, all of oh, a sudden yeah, there's yeah. A, that plot of land right, on right, the right. right. It pisses me off every single time I pass it, and then obviously within seconds I'm like, alright, um, whatever.
whatever. Yeah. But I make enough point to be like, okay, wait, I'm gonna look out the next planning board and go to it. Just because I wanna know how they do everything. I wanna like show my face a little bit. And then as I like, you yeah. know, get accustomed to yeah, it, then I'll be like, that's how dude, my it. second time there, I cannot believe I did this, but I got up and actually asked the people who were trying to build something. Uh, you know the uh, um, the Enterprise on Route 9 North? It was right, yes. right next it's to the door. Yeah, car rental place. Mm -hmm. Across from that, the yeah. old like garage there, it's all broken down, like vacant and whatever. But oh, they're like, Lakewood? No, it's right over here. It's right over here. But there's people that are from Brooklyn that are actually trying to buy it and renovate it. And they're, so the plot of land is like this. They're trying to expand that, so they're actually taking away vegetation. They're about to plant, uh, build over vegetation. You're talking about like, on nine. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that whole area actually just a lot of. There's a lot. Th lots and even on Whitney, on, on that are going Whitty. out. You know what I mean? And there's like, because I know that there was a, um, what was it? There was like a haircut place there or something that. Yeah, went it's right up here. It's right on Sunset. Well, there was something. There was something there before that, right? Isn't there? There's a deli. Like, yeah, there was like deli. four different. Um, Dude, there's like ten. There's like five or businesses, ten places. Yeah, that's been there in like a couple there, years. And then all of because the location and the way it looks is not attractive at all. Mm. Like there's a barbershop there that you I can almost tell that area doesn't have a lot of all natural shit going on. You know what I'm saying? Like it just doesn't no. seem like you know it's like more. It, Hoarder junk kind of no, but there's so much traffic. There's so much traffic on it. There's so much traffic, bro. The exact opposite but, of what we're trying to do, you know. <laughs> exactly. But I like, all right, so like, yeah, a lot of getting lot back of, to my point is that I want to go to the planning board to start to see how everything goes because I'm into sustainability. That's what I graduated college with. So sustainability, like you yeah. said before, again, is it's all interconnected with everything in some way, shape, or form. So if I don't like something, I'm gonna go see how it work, like how the process of that works, and then I'm gonna actually speak my mind because I wanted to get shit done. And you, know, you want to get down to the nitty gritty root of what needs to, what is the action, what's the step that needs to be taken? Yeah, like, like okay, I don't, the, I don't what? like. No. I want to keep talking about the, what's the problem, like what's the step that we gotta take the solution. Exactly. Idea? Exactly. That's what you're doing. Robin yeah. or something. He said you got to ask yourself questions. Why or, or what or you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like you, you yeah. know, you got to challenge yourself and your brain and ask yourself like, what am I not doing? What exactly. am I should? What should I be doing? What yeah. can I be doing? It, it, goes you know? for, it goes for your your own health. It's like okay, I've been feeling shitty for the past month. Oh, what the hell? I'm realizing how much mental health you don't have enough CBD. Your... That's, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no. that's why. You but seriously, mental health will affect physical well, health. Well, it's natural. There you go. Physical health will. Well, that's mental health. Huh? The tincture? The tin? Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, we know. Really. I have that already, huh? Mm -hmm. Did you take that? Uh, Somebody took it. it. Yeah, he took it and never gave it back. Take some. <laughs> take some. I'll try it. Well, even, the honey is really the good. Honey, you got the honey, you got the tincture? I tell you what, she probably won't do it when we go home. I'll, I'll, if I get some hummus, <laughs> I'll, I'll get her. I'll put this in her coffee. Hummus. This is good, good honey, babe. Put it in your coffee. I want that tincture. <laughs> I want the honey. Well, hey. I'm all about that honey, babe. Yeah. <laughs> I'll, I'll give it to him after the, you know, after the break, whatever. But, uh, but yeah, like, like, you know, this all has to do with even men mental health, physical health, all that kind of stuff. And that's, like, sustainability is the combination of economic health, your health, absolutely, yeah. and the environment. That's literally how it is. It's, Using natural resources, using that like natural resources. I wasn't even know what the environmental aspect is because they're, well, start, they're starting to use hemp. And all that shit. They're yeah. starting to use hemp to make uh, construction materials. No, I like, get the. Are you kidding me? Oh yeah, they, they have a. Uh, concrete, yeah. concrete. They, they did a. Oh, they they oh, use it for concrete. everything. Oh, like, the wood you can fact check that. Installation. Installation. I'm telling you right now, I've seen it already. Hempcrete. Hempcrete. What is that? What it is is it's 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 it's, it's, it's the fibers of hemp, which in the stalk, there's these strong right. fibers are strong. These fibers are the same fibers they used to to, to make the ropes that would uh, make the navy ships uh, for, for their uh, for the sails. So it's, it's it's hemp mixed with like mud or like some type of slurry. But it's natural though. Sure. And it's apparently it, it can repel fire. Huh? Yeah, it, it can, and this is probably going to take away half the chemicals they have to put in the concrete. Bro, listen, can you, can you look at the reason why yeah, yeah. concrete come on? There's no. some chemicals in 
Yeah, you don't have belly, right? The, the, the hemp creep? tree is like it's fire retardant of some of some extent. Can you imagine if it's the cause of it's water resistant? It's like it's crazy. I never would be in a situation. Yeah, they call it hemp so creep, like concrete, but yeah. hemp creep. Yeah, that's yeah. what I was saying. Yeah. It's hemp creep. Yeah. It's, it's, it's the like inner woody core of the hemp plant. It's possible to make everything in an all natural way. Like oh, oh there, you're totally. You said you would never think that could be all natural. It's like yes, it can. There is a way, you know. And no, we didn't say that that the the pyramids were built out of hemp creep because how the fuck are they stay you know what I mean? Like how fuck Dude, they fucking stand in there for fucking Seriously. how long? Seriously. And it's like pyramids are the deterioration. It's, it's really not that fucking bad considering how long that fucking civilization is. Seriously, they're still standing. Twelve thousand years in the desert that happened. Like, like what? They're fucking absolutely. And you know, I don't actually. You know, some people even say they're like, oh, come on now, wait, some people say yeah. do you believe the aliens helped them build it? Yeah, some people believe they helped them build it. You know what? It's one theory that I I do not believe. Yeah, I don't believe they helped them build it. You know what? It's one theory that I I do not. Like, yeah, because you don't think about it. If you have I don't push people, it away too far. No, you're right. But if you have enough people, maybe they did give them. A I do bit believe they may have. Because what, what is not conspiracy? Yes, I am. But <laughs> I do believe they might have had access to anti gravity technology. Yes, yes, something. Because also, I remember there was a alien or some Tesla of their time. Where there's a window, and as the sun comes, it makes certain some sort of it's just like magnets, like just what Frankie said. If you take Two magnets that they're the same, the same uh, polarity charge, whatever, polar yeah. yeah, polarity charge against each other. They're gonna push away, so it's Absolutely. almost like you're gonna be floating. I did that with you're Joseph, her son, I, and I said, "Look at magic!" Magnet. And and I and I was moving the other magnet with the other one without them touching. He was like, "Wow!" They're building like, engines with that technology. Yes. Oh yeah. They're building uh, 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 modes of transportation with that technology. Yeah. I'm pretty sure Tesla. They're uh, using that now. No gas, no gas, no gas, no pollution. Check this out. They're using magnets and uh, air pressure for travel. Wow. Can you imagine? Can you imagine? imagine how That's much travel that is. I just think they they, they should they should have had it already. They should have it already. <laughs> they should have it already because like that's what I'm saying. Like why I I heard that engines can run off of corn oil. You know what I mean? They can run off of. It's like, why do yeah. we choose to run off gas well, and oil and yeah, pollute well, this fucking... It's because, like, earth. that's what we're built on right now. Well, that's yours. It's his, no, it's it belongs like to whatever. the drink. So, whatever the drink... The drink, oh, yes. Oh. The drink appreciates it. Yeah, this is belongs to the drink. I'm serious, man. That's I'm about to, Thank I'm you. to, like, have you go oh, get me some now. Yeah. I really want I really... Alright, so, like, just for that... Just so everyone knows how, or in case they actually don't know how to get in contact with you or in contact with uh, Truda, you know, see, uh, uh, you can find me on Instagram at Josh True to Life CBD. There's no space, no fancy stuff. Just all, just spell it all out. It's together. Oh, just one big word. Josh True to Life CBD. Right. And that's it. Instagram. Cool. Or do the same thing at. Oh, oh sorry, Josh at True to Life CBD. That's my email. So. Cool, man. Yeah, man. Alright, well, that dude. I hope he's on the show, man. That, this. Wait, it's over? Yeah, man. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we're just getting fired up. Yeah. yeah. We're just getting started. Yeah, just getting we, we could do this all day. I mean, I was going to say, either that or if you have any more information about, you know, more sustainable tips with uh, CBD and stuff like that. No, just uh, send me an email if you guys have any questions. Josh at yourlifecbd.com. Uh, I'll Josh, put the, yeah, we'll definitely have questions. The information in the description and stuff. That's yeah. what we want. Ask questions. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, seriously. No, but like, actually, I'm confusion. glad you brought that up. If you, if you, first, if everyone that's viewing this right now, if you guys have any questions about anything that went on in the show, please feel free to message Josh at his email. And also, I'm going to put his, uh, his information in the description. And also, if you just have questions about the drink being on the show or just in questions in general, Please feel free to jump in and comment. I will be sure to jump in and say hi. So, no, yeah, right good stuff. All right, well, good stuff. guys, to the journey, thank you, man. thank you for yeah, having me. Seriously, hell yeah, dude. To the environment. Hey, everyone. Thanks for watching the show. The drink sustainability warning. As you watch the show. Be sure to clink at your own risk. Drinks may not appear the way that they seem.